Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about DK Metcalf, the consensus number one wide receiver in the 2019 NFL Draft class based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. I've done a video on DK Metcalf a little earlier this year, just profiling his production data. But now that his athleticism data has come in, we're going to get a better view of what he is as a prospect based on his overall data. Um, keep in mind that what I say about a player like this should not be seen as an opinion. I'm just giving you the facts. So if you don't like the facts, that's fine. But I'm just trying to give you a historical perspective on some of the risks and some of the rewards of a guy like DK Metcalf. So first off, when you get to his production profile, uh, he had a 51.24 passing yardage mark share production score. Uh, based on my data since the 1969 NFL draft class, uh, the vast majority, we're talking about like 95% of five-time All-Pro wide receivers, three-time All-Pro wide receivers, three-time Pro Bowl wide receivers, and long-term starter wide receivers uh, had at least these production marks. Metcalf, 51.24. And this is in addition to adjusting for the games that he missed. So this isn't just taking his data and then including all the games that he didn't play in and, and making his score that way. This is adjusting for the games that he missed as a player. And it's only 51.24 out of 100. Uh, when you look at the averages at the position, the average All-Pro score, average Pro Bowl score, and average starter score doesn't hit anywhere near the averages for those players. And in terms of athleticism data, so this is the next sort of piece to the puzzle, if you will. 99.57 in terms of explosiveness, 99.83 in terms of speed, and 48.25 in terms of flexibility for his size. When it comes to the wide receiver position, you only need 154 or higher athleticism trait in order to be a, a all-pro, pro bowl, or starter player. But what is significant about Metcalf's testing is that his flexibility testing uh, is so low. It's below average for all pro player, below average for a pro bowl player, and below average for a starter player. Um, so his biggest issue is his flexibility testing and his production. Um, those are the two major issues with him when you, when you look at his data profile. And I do understand that people are going to bring up guys like Calvin Johnson. They're going to bring up a whole bunch of other players in comparison to Metcalf. But Calvin Johnson was elite productive. He was in the high 90 percentile. Uh, a guy like Des Bryant was elite productive in the high 90 percentile. So Metcalf doesn't really have a lot of places to go. And when we do production comps and athleticism comps, so again, this is something I'm gonna be doing this year when it comes to prospect videos, is this isn't a direct comparison for this player, but this is just to show sort of a range of outcomes. When it comes to his passing yards marks or production, the closest uh, sort of prospect comparable is Darius Hayward Bay. In terms of his passing yards mark share production score, Hayward Bay was about 50.12 out of 100. And uh, again, when you look at the data, uh, it's just not that great. And the reason why I put Hayward Bay here is as an example of this, you know, this is a wide receiver in Hayward Bay that was drafted uh, very, very, very high. Because uh, I know a lot of people talk about draft status. Well, he's going to be drafted high, so he's going to be given every opportunity to be a great player. And you look at a guy like Hayward, Hayward Bay, who was actually more athletic than Metcalf in terms of overall athleticism you know being great in terms of flexibility testing great in terms of speed testing and great in terms of explosion testing and Hayward Bay of course realistically became more of a starter spot starter backup type at the next level despite how high he was drafted when it comes to athleticism comps the best sort of thing I could look for or, or found was Cordell or Patterson Patterson is not as explosive as Metcalf but he has a similar sort of explosion speed flexibility um, profile, you know, data profile, I guess. And, uh, you know, he's the sort of closest sort of wide receiver comparison for a guy that's this fast, this explosive, but not that flexible. And Patterson is another guy who really struggles with his route running uh, and other stuff. And he's he's always struggled with it. <laughs> it's nothing new. Great special teamer, but has always struggled in terms of just general route running. So what does this really say about DK Metcalf? Because I get a lot of flack from people about what I do. What I say is check my data, check what I've said in the past. I've done data profiles on draft classes uh, f f for a while. 
uh, when you go back to my videos, I have videos going back to grades in the 2017 and 2018 NFL draft classes, and, and my data speaks for itself uh, in terms of the predictions that I put out. And there's definitely going to be some outliers here and there uh, where a guy succeeds despite the criticisms that I put upon him. Most of the time, I'm hitting these picks out of the park in terms of when I'm picking uh, losers. And again, when I say losers, data is not really great at picking who's going to be the best player. But it's really great in terms of figuring out who has the highest likelihood of becoming a bust. And most of the data when it comes to DK Metcalf is pushing to the point that he's most likely going to disappoint rather than excel at the NFL level. And there's going to be film scouts, and there's already been film scouts who have done film profiles on him saying it doesn't matter. There's also the excuse, well, if your coach can't make DK Metcalf a great wide receiver, then they should be fired. Uh, and they will be fired. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, they will be fired, these coaches that are going to try to uh, fix DK Metcalf. But the bottom line is he, he, he was not dominant for how athletic he was. And when you look at the main criticisms of him, um, criticisms that NFL teams have said about him, like the Washington Redskins uh, during the Combine, uh, multiple sources on it. Uh, you can kind of go to Twitter, Washington Redskins, DK Metcalf, and you'll find articles on it. Talked about how Metcalf struggled, uh, or at least the, the Redskins were pointing out some of his route running issues uh, because Metcalf is really more of a vert, run really fast, you know, like basically things that complement his athleticism and dismiss his issues in terms of turning. Um, and I just think when it comes to his athletic profile, he's never going to be a great route runner. And he's definitely going to have uh, the potential to be utilized in the NFL. Like, I'm not saying he's going to be a complete failure and not be productive. But I do think that he is going to disappoint those who think that he has this Calvin Johnson, Julio Jones like ceiling to him as a profile because I just don't think that that's really in the cards for a guy like Metcalf. I think he's more likely to disappoint than succeed. If this isn't the case and he proves me wrong, great. Does that discount the over 50 years worth of data? No. And I get a little bit tired when people point that out that, well, if one player is successful, then it did it basically everything that's happened in the last 50 years last 10 years even doesn't matter anymore because this player was successful that's not how data works the, the point of data is to tell you who has a more likelihood of becoming successful and in Metcalf's case everything is saying that this is a very very risky prospect um, so do with that if you will if you watch this film and you like him anyways great um, if he becomes a great player again great I really don't have a bone to pick with DK Metcalf but I am just saying that based on data he's a very risky risky prospect and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gymmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.